Wednesday. Cracovia. April 25th. Menahora 7. The veil appeared as the first almost. After half an hour, Gabriel and Abalgi appeared. After my manifold prayers and discourses, these said two keys we have received by the mercy of the highest and your ministers. The rest we attend according to the merciful will of the highest. Gabriel said, move not from your places, for the place is is holy. D said, Show a token, O Lord, when thy will is, whereby to persuade thy merciful dealings with us, and the presence of thy faithful ministers. The frame of the stone gave a crickling, no hand touching it, or otherwise any more. Toll, our worldly thing moving it, I heard it very Certainly, and to Edward Kelly it seemed the sound of a bunch of keys, as if they had quickly been shaken and strongly. Edward Kelly said, Gabriel sitteth, and Nabalgi standeth. Gabriel said, My brethren, hearken to my voice, for I am the true servant of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The dignity whereof is sufficient both for the verity of the doctrine and the confirmation and persuasion of your minds. For, as God is the Father of the faithful, so he showeth himself unto the faithful, whereby ye may prove the great comfort and consolation that ye may justly gather of the mercies of God, as touching your election. One of the things that's apparent here is that some of the errors um, are along the lines of what would be taught or presumed at that time and by that, people can argue, this is just their mind working out stuff. I think it goes beyond that, but that's... It speaks to something about not being uh, reliable, about knowing these past secrets and such. For at what time hath God appeared unto the unrighteous? Or where do you read that ever he visited the reprobate? For the reprobate hath no visitation, but in the rod of justice. But you may rise up among yourselves, saying, Lo, we are forward. We want faith. True it is, the acts of faith, but not the roots of faith. But I say unto you, that the power of God is in his election, is the basis of man's purity, and except but here there is a caveat that man imagining his predestination and perfect election justifieth not himself for wheresoever this is sound are this doctrine preached among you amongst you either simply in man or publicly in congregation it is the sure sign and token of their personal ignorance and confusion, for the will and power of God belongeth not to our measure. For it was the cause of rebellion amongst us, much less among men, which are fighting yet for the glory of their reward. Behold, it is the sin in him that judgeth